Hey guys, continue watching to crochet along with me this super cute beanie right here. I crocheted it in the infant size or the newborn size, but you can adjust it to any size you like. Here's the size chart right here, and I'll also put this in the description. Everything that you need, you will see here. So you need some yarn, you need a crochet hook, you need measuring tape, a stitch marker, and I like to have a yarn needle to crochet in my ends when I'm finished. Continue following along with me to learn how to do this super cute, beginner-friendly beanie. Thanks! Hey guys, today I'm going to teach you how to crochet a beginner beanie. Now, you can make this in um, any size. You just need to follow along with my chart here, with this size chart. So today, I am going to make a newborn size. So the newborn size is three and a half to four inches. So I get my measuring tape out and I look and see what is three and a half to four inches there. And that's how I know how big to make it. And um, after that, you can see on my size chart here, you have the height also. So the height for a newborn is 4.5 to 5.5 inches. And I wanna tell you now how you can tell what size of hook to use with what size of yarn. So with your yarn, you get out the label and it tells you right there on the package what size to use. So mine was a four and a half, so I'm going to use the four and a half millimeters. Again, this will tell you, your yarn package will tell you what size of hook you need to use for your project. Now I'm going to start this simple beginner beanie by making a magic ring or magic circle. And I'm actually gonna do a double one. The reason I'm doing double is this yarn's a little shiny, so it kinda of tends to work its way out. If you don't know how to make a magic ring, then I'm gonna link my video on how to do that below so you can follow along with me and make it. Now, right here, I'm going to make eight half double crochets in my magic ring. And if you don't know how to make half double crochets, I'm also going to link that video below so you can learn how to do that. But there I've got one, two, three. And you go around both, both, um, both pieces of yarn there that's in the circle. So just crochet around both of those at the same time, kind of pretend like they're one instead of two. And the reason I'm making this is I am going to have a little baby niece soon. So I wanted to make her a really cute pink beanie to bring her home from the hospital in. Now here you can see I'm tightening one so you tighten one and then you pull the tail and tighten the other one. And now I'm just going to count to make sure that I start in the right stitch. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that eighth one there is just a little bit hard to see, but, um, but it's there and uh, just make sure that you're starting in that one. So this next round, I'm going to do two half double crochets in each stitch. And you see right there, it's, it's a little tight. I do have a tendency to crochet a little tight. So sometimes beginning, I will have a little bit of trouble. And here you can see that there, I went through just the first one. So you wanna make sure you go through both of your both of your stitches on your last round. So there I've got one. And then I'm gonna make, what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to mark that stitch so I know which one is my first stitch in that round. That way it's a whole lot easier and you don't exactly have to keep up with how many are in each round then. So you're going to do two in each so that's the second one and that one. And I'm just gonna continue that around to make two half double crochets in each of these. So, 
So at the end, I started with eight. So at the end now, I will have 16 half double crochets in this. And when I get to my stitch marker, I mark, mark that first stitch that I made. When I get to that stitch marker, then that signifies that I'm at the end of this row and I'm about to start the next round. And this way, you will increase it and it will stay round. So there, I'm at my last one right there. So I do. So I remove my stitch marker and this next one, I'm going to do two half double crochets in that stitch that that stitch marker's in. And then one half double crochet in the stitch after that. And I'm just gonna repeat that pattern. So I've got one half double crochet there and now I'm gonna mark it. So I know that's where I started. I'm going to do one more half double crochet in that same stitch. And then the next stitch I'm going to do one. And I'm going to repeat that pattern till the end of this row. So I'm going to do two in this stitch. So one, two, there. And then I'm going to do one in the next half double crochet. So one right there. And again, just repeat that all the way around and that way it'll stay round and it'll stay flat and even. And this round, you should have a total of 24 stitches in the whole round. So just continue to crochet around. and continue that pattern that I told you. So two in the next stitch there. So one, two in that stitch, and then one half double crochet in the next stitch. And I like using half double crochets because it gives me some volume, but it's still a tight stitch. I don't like single crochets for these types of projects just because it's such a small stitch. It takes, it feels like forever to make it. And then I don't like the double crochet as much just because it feels like it's a little too long and it's not really tight enough. Of course, that's my personal opinion. You can do any way that you want. Now I'm back at that first stitch I started with and see I'm going to measure here so uh, that's not quite long enough is it that's not even two inches so I need to continue on and that's how you know when you're done is when you get the size that the chart says and I'm going to put that chart it's in my community page and then I'm also going to put it um, into the description also so you'll have the chart right there so this next round I'm going to do two in the first so i marked that stitch right there and i'm going to do one more in that stitch so i have two in the first stitch right there and then i'm going to do one in each of the next two half double crochets so that i've got one and then one and i'm going to repeat this all the way around so i do two in the next so one there two and then I'm going to do one in the next. So one there and then one in the next. So one there and just repeat it around. Two into the next half double crochet and then one in each of the next two half double crochets. And at the end of this round, you will have 32 stitches total. And this is your fourth round here. So 32 stitches total in this round. 
and again just continue this all the way to the stitch marker. And I will be putting the written pattern in the description below also. That way you can, if you want to print it out or if you want to follow along like that also, that you'll be able to follow along like that. And just keep repeating that pattern all the way to the end. So you do two in the first, so two in the next, and then you do one half double crochet in each of the next two until you get to that stitch marker. And there I'm at that stitch marker and I am at the end of round four right there. So now I'm going to remove that stitch marker and the next stitch I'm going to make two half double crochets in the next stitch. So I'm going to make one and then I'm going to mark my stitch there. After I mark that stitch I'm going to make one more half double crochet in the same stitch and then I'm going to make one half double crochet in each of the next three stitches. And then that will be the pattern on round five that gets com that gets repeated. So you see one, two, there's three stitches there. So I'm going to make, make two half double crochets in that one stitch. And then I'm going to make one half double crochet in each of the next three stitches. And then I just repeat that pattern all the way around. This row should have a total of 40 stitches when you get back to that stitch marker. So there's one stitch there. So there's two stitches in that one. And then I'm going to do one stitch in the next three. So one, one, and then one stitch in that next one and just repeat that. So two stitches in that one and then one stitch in the next three. So one, one, and one. Another thing too is if you ever get confused about where you're at, you can always go back to where you made that to stitch at and all you do is count back to that two stitch so you have your two stitch and then you know for example on this round that you need one half double crochet in the next three stitches so then you can just count what you've done so two stitches in one and then the one two three and that'll let you know where you're at And then if you get really confused, you can just go back to your stitch marker and just count all your stitches. That way you know that you're on the right track. And again, I'm just continuing that same pattern all the way around until I hit my stitch marker. And here you can see, see it's round now and now I'm measuring again. So I've got about almost three inches. So I need three and a half to four inches for a newborn. So I'm going to do probably two or three more rows. We'll see. Now this next one, I'm going to do two half double crochets. So one, and then I'm going to mark it. Now I like to do it like this. Some people like to mark the last stitch they made, but I like to do the first one. So, so I make two in that one. In this round, I'm going to do four 
So I'm going to do one in each of the next four. So I've got one, two, three, four that I'm going to do one in. So I've got one, then two, three, and four. And then I'm just going to repeat this around again. So I do two in that next one. So one, two, and I'm going to do one in each of the next four. So there's the one, then two, then three, and four. And this is your round number six here. So two in that one, one, two, and then one in each of the next four. So one, two, three, and four. And this round, I'm going to have 48 stitches in total. So 48 in total here. And I'm gonna continue that pattern all the way around. And if you wanted to, if you have a different type of yarn that's thicker and you can use a thicker hook then, you won't have as many rounds as I will. Or you can use a thinner yarn with a smaller hook and then you'll have more rounds. So it just depends on what size of hook that you have and the size of your yarn is how many rounds you're going to do. That's why having a measuring tape for this is really imperative. That way you know that you're getting the exact size that you need and not relying on just how many rounds there is because again that can change very easily as to the type of yarn that you're using and uh, the hook size that you're using so this it, this pattern is for any any yarn that you want to use any hook size that you want to use I'm just continuing that pattern all the way around till I get to that stitch marker. And then here you go. And now I'm just going to measure it again. So I've got just a hair over three inches. So I may need another one or two. So in this next round, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make two stitches in that. So two half double crochets in that first one. So I'm gonna make one. Again, I'm gonna mark it. And then I'm gonna make one more in that one. And then I'm going to make one half double crochet in each of the next five stitches. So count one, two, three, four, five. So I've got right there, I'm gonna start doing, there's one in that stitch, two, three, four, and five, and then I'm gonna make two in the next. So one, two in that next stitch, and then I'm gonna make one half double crochet in each of the next five. And really, that's the pattern that you follow. So the next row after this one, instead of doing one half double crochet in each of the next five, I'll do one in, one half double crochet in each of the next six. So I increase that by one in each round. So you do two half double crochets like in this round and then a one half double crochet in each of the next five. And then the next round after this will be two half double crochets 
in one stitch and then one half double crochet in each of the next stitch and then I'm just I just continue that until I get to the size that I want again I'll have this written out but um, if you get confused or if you need more rounds than what you think you're going to need just remember you just increase that by one and on this round you're going to have 56 so there are 56 in this round total stitches and here I got a little bit confused so I just have to count so I start there is my two so I have one two there and then I counted and now I know where I'm at again so and then sometimes you do get confused or distracted and that's okay You just count backwards to where you had your last two, and then you go from there. So you see right here, I was confused again, just a little bit. And again, that's okay. You have things happening around you, and it's okay to be confused at where you're at. You just go back to where you have those two half double crochets in one stitch and then you count how many that you've done since then. And I'm just continuing this pattern all the way around. And again, if you get really confused, know that there are a total of 56 half double crochets on this round. So that's what I know that I need in this round is 56. I'm going to get to my stitch marker here and then I'm going to measure it again how many do I need how many more inches do I need or am I finished so I'm going to lay it flat and then just measure it again so you know what that that looks about right that's between three and a half and four inches so now I'm done with that so the next thing I do is I'm just going to crochet in the round so now I do no more increases and I just crochet all around. So one half double crochet in each stitch now. And I'm still gonna mark that first one because I wanna know how many rounds I made. So I just mark that first one and then I continue just crocheting all around. One half double crochet in each stitch until I get to the length that I need. And you'll see when you start crocheting this that you're going to get the the shape that you're looking for so kind of that um, roundish cone kind of shape there that goes you know down over your head so you just keep on until you get the inches that you need for the height now so you've got the inches that you need for the diameter or the crown of the head now you just need the inches for the height of your beanie so again just crocheting all around until you get that and with each new round just move your stitch marker up to that first stitch that you made and remember that in that last round that you did you had 56 stitches total so now each round should have 56 stitches no more and no less and that's a good way to tell if you're accidentally making one more or one less stitch or if you've skipped a stitch or maybe you've added two in one stitch just count and make sure you have 56 stitches there and some people don't like to count and that's okay if you don't like to count but it's 
it's easier to keep up with um, what you're doing to make sure that you're you don't mess up or anything like that if um if you're counting your stitches but again if you don't want to count your stitches i do the same thing sometimes i'm sitting in front of the television and i may not want to count my stitches and so that's another reason to put a stitch marker in that first stitch and when you're counting your stitches sometimes you get distracted people have kids spouses animals and about a million other things that's happening around them. So it's easy to get your stitches off. So a good, another good reason to use a stitch marker there. And this, you know, this, you don't have to use this type of stitch marker. This is just um, one that came with the set that I have. They have the metal like this, they have plastic, but honestly, you could also use, you could use a paper clip if you have that laying around. You could use a safety pin so there's lots of different things you could use instead of instead of just a stitch marker. And as you can see, I'm just continuing to crochet half double crochet stitches all the way around. And I'll do that until I get to my stitch marker. Then after I get to my stitch marker, I will take that sti the stitch marker out. I'll crochet one half double crochet into that stitch. And that'll be the first one on this new round. I'm gonna put my stitch marker in that first one. And then I'm going to continue to crochet all the way around. One half double crochet in each stitch. Just continue that all the way around. Again, until you get the height you need there. So I decided to skip ahead a little bit because I didn't want to bore you to death. So here, I've almost got the height that I need right here. So I'm just half double crocheting. And again, I'm going to take my stitch marker and I'm going to mark that right there and then I'm going to continue all the way around one half double crochet in each stitch and I know that I have 56 half double crochets that I need to make for each round and I'm just crocheting in the round so it's really really easy here and you just continue. And at the end, I'll show you here how to measure it. So look, see, I messed up on that stitch. So I just took it out. It's all you have to do. Don't be, don't be mad at yourself for messing up. You can always just take it out. And I know it kind of stinks sometimes to take it out, but that's okay. And in the crochet world, a lot of times you'll hear people say frog it. So frog it means to rip it out so it kind of sounds like a frog i think that's why people call call it frogging it so it sounds like rip it rip it anyway that's kind of one cute little thing that you'll hear a lot of people that crochet say and it's a normal term that crocheters use and here i'm just again continuing all the way around until I reach that stitch marker. And then after we're done, I'm going to show you how to weave in the ends. There's a couple of different ways you can do it, but I really like using a big crochet needle for it. You can also use your hook, but I do like using the big crochet needle. I think it makes it 
more secure and it is less time consuming using a needle instead of using your hook. And I'm just again continuing one half double crochet in each stitch all the way around. So now that I'm almost finished. Sorry, it's a little bit hard to see these last few stitches that I made right here. I didn't realize I had zoomed in quite that much. I've got one more to make and then we will weave in our ends. So you can see I can lay my little beanie flat there. And now I'm going to measure it. So that is right almost, almost at five inches tall in height so that's right in the middle of where I need to be I'm going to cut my yarn now so I'm just cutting my yarn and then I'm going to make one slip stitch into that first half double crochet on the previous round so right there I'm just going to insert my hook I'm going to pull up the yarn and then I'm going to pull that next one all the way through now you can do weaving your ends with your hook, but again, I'm going to use a needle, but I'm going to do that first one there. I'm just going to pull that through right there with the hook. And now I'm going to grab a needle. And this is a bigger yarn needle. One thing about having long fingernails is that I can just push the yarn through, which is honestly kind of nice. Now I'm going to go through like the next stitch there and I'm just going to weave that into the next stitch. I'm going to weave it in and out. Here you can see that, me weaving it in and out there. And you don't want it to pull out. So now I'm going to go back over where I just weaved the stitch in. So I'm going to go back over those, but the, you know, the opposite direction there of where I just weaved that stitch in at. That way it'll set it and it won't pull out. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just kind of going to go crazy with it here. I'm going to weave in and out, go different areas, go different angles. I'm going to go back over stitches that I already went over. That way I can rest assured that it will not pull out. One of my biggest nightmares is my stitches actually coming out or pulling out, especially if it's something that I've handmade and I've sold. So that's, that really is like, a huge fear of mine that the stitches actually pull out. So here I'm just going to go back and forth, different areas, different directions, and I'm just going to weave in that end. And after I weaved in enough and I'm satisfied, then I'm still going to tie it off because again, it, it makes me paranoid that it's going to come out. So I tie mine off, I weave mine in, different directions and tie all of mine off. That way I can rest assured that mine is not going to come undone. So see here I'm going underneath now and you can pick up those little yarn pieces, those little stitches underneath so you don't have to go all the way through it. And now I'm just doing that and I'm going different directions a little bit there. I'm working my way up kind of and now I'm satisfied with it. So now I'm just going to make a knot right there. And then I'm going to go through the same stitch and make a knot again. And this way I know that it's not going to come out. And now I'm just going to cut the rest of the yarn. And then I'm going to go to the top of the beanie and I'm going to do pretty much the same exact thing. So I'm kind of pulling it tight there and then I'm just going to put the yarn through my crochet needle there or my yarn needle 
and then I'm just going to do the same thing and just kind of weave it in and out like I did before. Kind of just go around, go in weird, crazy directions, and then go right back over where you were at. That way you know that you've set it in place there and it won't come out. But since I get paranoid, I'm going to do quite a bit of weaving in and out and going back over and then I'm going to make a knot also. And here I'm turning it over again. I'm just going through some of those stitches on the back like I did before. Working that in. And now I'm going to go back over that area there. And now I'm just going to make my, make my knot there. It is hard to do it sometimes when you get, when your yarn gets pretty small. So I've made my knot. Now I'm just going to cut it, turn it back over. And there you have it. There's the finished beanie. This is infant size again. But there you have it. Hey everyone, how did you like crocheting this beginner friendly beanie with me? If you like what you saw, please subscribe to my channel and like the video. You can always come back. Now remember, this beanie can be adjusted. All you need is your measuring tape and you, it will tell you the size exactly that you need for the different sizes of the beanie. Thanks for watching again, and I hope you have a great time crocheting.